Welcome to Fluid Learning, a learning module for the fluid handling industry. My name is Eric Reinica from Graco Com Corporate Communications, and I'm with Mike Moe, trainer extraordinaire from Graco Industrial Products Division. How are you doing, Mike? I'm good. Thanks, Eric. Today we're going to talk about the BPR, which is an important part of the fluid system and one that's often overlooked. Mike, what is a BPR? Well, a BPR, uh, first of all, is a back pressure regulator. It's used to control pressure and fluid flow. All right. Well, where would I expect to, where would I use one of these? Well, generally they're used on paint circulation systems, most commonly. Okay. So we've got a picture of a, a paint circulation system up here on the screen, and I take it the item that's highlighted in yellow must be the BPR. Yes, that's correct. Okay. Can you tell me more about this system, Mike? Certainly. Um, what we have is, as you uh, indicated, this is a paint circulation system. It's a standard e-flow system. You can see that there's a, a e-flow system to the left, and it's uh, pumping paint through the two bag filters, and then um, returning to the paint supply. And prior to the paint supply, you can see, as you indicated, the uh, yellow highlighted back pressure regulator. Okay, so what is that BPR doing on the on the? Why did I? Why did somebody install this into that system? The uh, the BPR or back uh, pressure regulator is used to control the fluid flow back to the supply as well as maintain the pressure um, prior to the inlet of the uh, back back pressure regulator. Okay, so why is it important for me to maintain pressure? Uh, it's important to maintain pressure so at, at all your fluid drops or where the uh, paint is being used has the uh, correct amount of pressure. Oh, okay, okay. All right, so I think it would be appropriate for us to get into how the thing works. And uh, we're going to pull up an animation here, and we're going to have a look at uh, how it works on the inside. So let, let me, let's get that animation up here. Tell us what's going on in this animation, Mike. Okay, um, as we're looking at this animation, what you'll see is we've got material entering on the left side of this BPR and exiting on the right-hand side. As the pressure drops on the left-hand side, the uh, piston, or the diaphragm in this case, is going to lower down, closing the uh, fluid flow, or limiting the amount of material that can flow through thus increasing the pressure again on the inlet side. Okay, good, Mike. Uh, we're going to have some guns coming on here. Tell us about what's happening here with these guns. Okay, as the guns come into the picture, what you're going to see is uh, you're going to see the first gun trigger, and that's going to decrease the pressure, and the diaphragm's going to drop. And then the second gun's going to come on, decreasing pressure more. The diaphragm drops. Every time that diaphragm drops, it uh, limits the flow, helping to maintain the correct pressure prior to the inlet of the BPR. Okay, so Mike, if we didn't have this BPR in the system as these guns are coming on and turning off, what would happen? What, what we'd end up seeing is we'd have varied flow rates at, at different guns. So as gun 2 and gun 3 came on, the flow rate at gun 1 as, as well as the pressure would be dropping. Okay, so this helps maintain the same pressure, same flow rate, every gun, no matter what the other two guns are doing. That's correct. Excellent. Great. Okay, Mike, let's just review here. Um, the BPR controls upstream pressure in a paint circ loop, right? That's correct, yep. All right. And the purpose of the BPR is to maintain the correct pressure and flow rate at all gun drops in the circ loop, regardless of how many of the guns are spraying at any given time. That is correct. All right, excellent. Well, Mike, are there any other resources that a person could go to if they wanted to learn more about a BPR? Absolutely. There's there's a couple of resources. Uh, the first is uh, at Graco.com. You can go out and uh, download any of our instruction manuals on in any one of the uh, back pressure regulators, or you can go out to uh, the Graco Jedi website and uh, look under our training uh, section for information on back pressure regulators and many other items. Okay. And imagine they could, they could just go to their Graco rep or, or call customer service, too, right? Absolutely. Yep. All right. Fantastic. So thanks a lot, Mike. Appreciate it. It was very informative. And uh, that's it for today's fluid learning section on the back pressure regulator. So long. <laughs>